Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. This is Regen Nation, and the holiday update is here. Yeah! Um, 2023.44.30 brings you the holiday update. If you get a dot two, dot three, dot four at the end, those are just revisions and maybe FSD compatibility and stuff like that. But for all intents and purposes, 44.30 is going to be the holiday update. And of course, a holiday update can't go without some kind of controversy. And the biggest controversy is this year for 2023's holiday update is going to be the park assist upgrade. Now you notice here, it doesn't show it here in my list of updates and uh, features and stuff like that. Well, that's because first off, let me tell you what the park assist upgrade is. It's the high fidelity 3D representation of the world, almost like bird's eye view, but using uh, Tesla and their cameras and how they do it with graphics and stuff like that. And I don't have it because the controversy is any car, any of the older Teslas from last year and older that have the USS, the ultrasonic sensors on the bumpers for parking and stuff like that. If you've got those sensors, you won't have park assist in this update. Apparently it's coming later or soon or whenever, but right now on the holiday update release, it's not included. It's only for cars that have vision only, that don't have the ultrasonic sensors. This one's for you. I'll show you what it looks like and it's very, and, and people have been demonstrating it all online and stuff like that. And it works great as you can see here. Uh, I just wish we had it. So if you have one of the new cars, that's what it's gonna be. And that's probably the biggest, most anticipated feature that I know in this holiday update. But there's more, there's more. And there's another controversy, and I'll tell you what that is afterwards. But let me get to the good stuff. Apple Podcasts. So now Apple Podcast comes, and it shows, actually, if I go down to my music, so if I pull up the music here, and I click on that, and the list, you see in the list of all the different things, Apple Podcasts is right here. So if you click on Apple Podcasts, you're gonna see mine. I've logged in. If you have an Apple podcast, if you have an Apple account, you can get your podcast so here. So this is good. Uh, you can use Spotify. You can use all the other uh, TuneIn and all the other streaming services for your podcast. But if you're into Apple Podcasts, it's good. It's right here. You've got your library. You've got your top charts, your browse, all that kind of stuff uh, listing now, all with Apple Podcasts. So that's Apple Podcasts. Moving right along, Castle doom bad game so it's a new game i think because I, I you know what i couldn't tell you if it's a new game because i'm not into the games in the car so i don't know if this was here before and i've just updated it i'm thinking it's a new game so that's it there i'm not going to demo it you can uh, check it out for yourself if you're in the arcade if you're into it uh tesla arcade updates so now one thing the one game that i have played in the past is beach buggy racing which is really cool now they've added a cyber truck to it so that's pretty cool um they've done some other updates to polytopia uh, the vampire survivors uh, and then they have PS4, PS5, Xbox controller, more features in those remotes. So custom lock sounds, this is a cool thing too. Uh, if you go to, so that custom lock sound, so instead of when you when your car locks, when you walk away, if you have that feature set automatically, or if you manually lock it, when you uh, walk away from your car, normal sound was just a honk, the horn honking. Now you can change it. You can change it from like a screaming goat, a round of applause, a fart, and stuff like that. And the way to find that is if you go to your apps, you go to Toy Box, I believe it is, uh, and right, you go to Boom Box, and it's right here, Lock Sound. So right now I have it as goat, the little symbol there saying new, but here's all the different things. Old school horn, it's got the goat, it's got the applause, it's got the duck quacking, it's got the chirping like the old school alarm chirp that's pretty funny for all the old school people clown horn prison door just sounds like a prison door is closing uh the drums and then usb may, may basically means you can customize any sound you want you can put it on a usb stick and uh, you can upload it right to the car moving right along Let's go to the, the next one. Speed cameras on your route. Now, this is cool. This is almost like a Waze-like thing. I don't know how they're going to gather information, if it's going to be like crowdsourcing, and sooner or later down the road, we're going to be able to uh, give our inputs and, and enter or give, like, you know, speed traps and disabled vehicles and collisions and accidents and stuff like that. I don't know. But right now, I guess it's just uh, Tesla doing it on their own. And as you can see, in the maps, on the maps, now when you have a route, it's going to show a little traffic lights there stop signs and if there's speed cameras they'll be like yellow or orange like that and to have it on you have to have 
uh, your online routing turned on, and of course you have to have premium connectivity. So that's pretty cool. We'll see how this um, works out, if it's gonna be like Waze or if it's gonna uh, be better. Speaking of maps and everything, our next feature is Trip Planner on mobile app. Now, we've had this for probably a couple of weeks. It came on the app, on the newest update of, of the app. So if you've had that, now you can actually put in multiple waypoints in your trip, which was always something I thought that was needed after they gave us the ability to put in a destination in your route in the app, which I thought was a cool idea. Now they've expanded it and given what most people wanted, and now you can do waypoints. And sticking in the whole maps and routing and uh, navigation thing, alternate routes while driving. This is cool. This is something I thought, I never asked for it, but I wish they had it. And now they actually, I guess they, they heard my internal thoughts and now they actually have it. So a few months ago, probably earlier this year, we had the ability of having multiple route options while putting in a destination. And they'd give you two or three options and you can pick. But when you pick the one you wanted, then the other ones would go away. To get it back, you'd have to cancel the route and then pick the route all over again, and it would only be at the very, very beginning where you had the option of the two or three different routes. Now you can do it while driving, so it'll, in, in other words, it'll stay on at all times, so you can zoom out on the map, and if that uh, route isn't working for you, you can choose another one while on the fly without having to end the actual route. That was the workaround that I used to use. So that's a cool feature. These uh, updates for the map and navigation really come in handy and uh, really well needed, in, in my opinion more cameras in live view for the camera view. So this is for the app. This is great. Hopefully it comes to Sentry. Sooner or later it'll trickle down. Now you have access to, to the B-pillar cameras, which comes in very, very handy for when you want to monitor your car. So the next feature in the new holiday update is automatic blind spot camera. This is cool. So you know now when you put on your signal, how you've got the little camera using your using your side repeater cameras left to right, they'll come up right here or here or here. You can choose wherever you go. Let me give you a quick demonstration. So I put my signal on, I'm on the right. You can see here, pulls up the camera for the side repeater. You can move it here, you can move it here. That's not the feature. The feature is now, if some car is in your blind spot, you're on a multi-lane highway, what's gonna happen is you're gonna get a little red, just like in the picture here, a little, either whether it's on the left or the right-hand side, you'll see a little red section of the screen. It'll glow red and it'll alert you that someone is in your blind spot. This is just a quick fix to a hardware limitation in our old cars where the new cars actually have it in the speaker grills on the A-pillar. These older cars can't be harder, hardware retrofitted, so software fix is probably the next best thing. And it's a welcome thing to have here, in my opinion. Light Show, now they have a new uh, song. It's called Arrival by Irving Victoria. Um, it's some kind of classical song. So if you like Light Show, they've given you a new Light Show for the holidays. Autopilot suspension. Now this is the other controversial thing. So now, if you're an FSD person, you know if you haven't paid attention and you uh, get some rejections from M FSD and they kick you out, you get strikes. And I think I think for FSD, I think it was three strikes, maybe it was five, I can't remember. But if you have enough strikes, you'll get suspended for a period of time. So now Tesla's added this too, auto, autopilot suspensions. They're trying to go for safety, so I get that part of it. Now with this one, in a nutshell, if you get five disengagements, not manual disengagements, not when you initiate disengagement, but you're not paying attention and you've missed all the, the warnings and, and stuff like that, the system is gonna kick you out. And if you get five of those, and I don't know five in what period, it doesn't say if anyone knows in the comments down below, let me know. So if you get five in, in a certain time period, you'll get suspended. And I don't know how long you get suspended for. That's something else that uh, I haven't been able to find out. So if you know how long you'll get suspended for and how long the duration of those five strikes take to get suspended, let me know down in the comments below. But this is not good. Pay attention, don't get suspended folks. Don't, whatever you do, pay attention and, and don't be texting on your phone. Don't take your eyes off. Make sure your hands are on the wheel when it, when it tells you to. I know everyone doesn't put their hands on the wheel all the time, but pay attention to the eggs. Uh, and speaking of the nags, the over-the-air, well, they call it over-the-air over the air recall. It's really not a recall, and that's a debatable anyways. But anyways, this is part of the, um, I guess, middle ground that Tesla and uh, the government came to down in the States, he, and also here in Canada. So now they're going to be a more aggressive and more uh, attentive to you, to the driver attentiveness. Obviously, they're going to be using the, the cabin-based camera for monitoring. They're, they've been doing it before, but they're going to do it more. And... They're gonna make sure you have your eyes on, on, on the road and your hands on the wheel. And the messages where they used to come up here on the screen, now they're gonna come up here and they're gonna be bolder. It's gonna be more announcements, more um, notifications. 
basically it's going to be more nagging folks i haven't tested it out yet but i've seen some videos and yeah it's going to be more nagging it's not what we wanted but i think you know uh typical in life where a few bad apples ruin it for everyone else so that's it and then some minor updates of course uh, actually they actually mentioned the minor updates they give you little bullet points of the minor updates here in this update so shuffle if you're a title playlist uh, person uh, apple music and spotify can now show your account profile image to indicate which account you're using which is pretty cool when you use control search for the touch screen and the results now includes links uh to the entries and then um when you search your vehicle maps for charging locations it now shows uh it now filters in between the two speeds of charging anything under 70 kilowatts or anything over uh, 70 kilowatts under 70 kilowatts will just give you one lightning bolt um anything over will give you three so i think that seemed to be there before i don't know what's new about that but that is a holiday update in a nutshell the controversy and the non-controversies stuff the stuff that we wanted and the stuff that we probably didn't want we got anyways let me know down in the comments below if you got the park assist upgrade and how you're liking it and stuff like that it's soon to come, hopefully, hopefully soon to come to us USS owners. And I can tell you, we can't wait. We should have got it with everyone else, but that's Tesla. They can't do anything without a little bit of controversy now and then. So thanks for watching, folks. If you got any comments, if you think that I've missed anything or uh, got anything wrong here, leave me a message down in the comments below, and we will catch you on the next one. Take care, folks. Bye-bye.